okay so big hello to all of you we are going to discuss another question based on new aims pattern so now aims has declared that they are going to conduct exam not on the old protocol but they have many new pattern of the questions like true false uh, ascending descending order uh, reason assertion reasoning multiple choice answers so this is a new pattern reason assertion type question the correct answer gives you one mark wrong answer takes away one fourth of the mark so this is again a yield the yield is better scoring because all of the uh, format they are taking one and giving one and taking away say about one or half or one third here it's one fourth only negative marking one fourth so definitely worth attempting you must go for this type of questions in aims the first is both and i think they'll change this because there are five options here and they have four options in the aim so they have to change this but anyway right now this is what i got from the aims site both assertion and reasoning are so you have two options a and b and a and b both are right that's one and the b explains a so that's one two both are right but both are different not related to each other b doesn't explain one both are correct assessment book are correct statement but b is not the reason for a third assertion only a is correct while b is wrong fourth a is wrong b is correct and last both are wrong so a and b both correct and the b explains a that's one a and b both correct but independently correct they are not uh, b is not explaining one three only a correct b wrong four only b correct a wrong and five both wrong now this is the question Insulinoma may present with Whipple's triad, and B, insulin upon sugar ratio more than 0.3 is diagnostic. Now, insulinoma may present with Whipple's triad. That's correct. Insulin upon sugar ratio should be more than 0.3. That's correct. But it's not diagnostic. So neither it's diagnostic nor this explains A. So you see, only A is correct here. what is insulinoma what are the features of insulinoma insulinoma is the most common endocrine tumor of pancreas less than 2% of pancreatic endocrine tumors are endocrine 98% are exocrine and in this less than 2% endocrine tumor most common is insulinoma which is actually uh you can say almost more than 2/3 so insulinoma is the most common benign or rather most common endocrine tumor of pancreas usually single more than 80% benign so very often they are benign most of pancreatic tumor are malignant while this is benign encapsulated so insulinoma is encapsulated benign single equally distributed and what we mean by equally distributed male female one is to one and head body tail one third one third one third one third in head one third in body one third in tail so all one third so i'll just repeat insulinoma is most common benign benign tumor of pancreas and most common endocrine tumor of pancreas more than 80% benign single encapsulated male female equal and equally distributed presents with whipple's triad what is whipple's triad first hypoglycemia patient comes with hypoglycemia and the sugar at the time of attack is less than 50 mg per cent so patient comes with clinical hypoglycemic attack sugar less than 50 and it's relieved by giving sugar you give sugar patient becomes normal so sugar less than 50 reversible and hypoglycemic attack this is whipple's triad and insulin sugar ratio should be more than 0.3 this is also correct but this is not diagnostic even insulin injection can give this ratio so b is wrong this statement is correct that this ratio should be more more than 0.3 but it's not diagnostic right so so the biochemically best test of course this we order no doubt about it best test is 72 hours fasting sugar value 
so if i get this ratio if there was one line here that fasting insulin sugar ratio more than 0.3 is diagnostic then statement would have been correct but fasting word is not there so i'll not say this is a correct statement but had the patient you keep patient fasting for for 12 hours get this ratio and this is in sumak not 12 hours 18 hours 24 hours you get 72 is a theoretical figure you don't keep the patient nail only for 72 hours theoretically we say 72 hours normally we get this ratio within 24 hours so this ratio in a fast fasting patient is diagnostic but without the word fasting this ratio is not diagnostic this is mandatory for diagnosis though but not diagnostic radiologically investigation of choices endoscopic ultrasound normally combined with cct ct may not always show the tumor but endoscopic ultrasound is especially for head and body endoscopic ultrasound is not good for tail it's for head and body so endoscopic ultrasound and ct scan together most accurate is intraoperative ultrasound intraoperative ultrasound that's most accurate but it's not investigation of choice because we'll not open the abdomen to do the diagnosis but during surgery if you do ultrasound this is quite accurate most specific is pancreatic vein sampling pancreatic vein sampling for insulin so measure the insulin in the pancreatic vein that is most specific but investigation of choice is endoscopic ultrasound how to differentiate insulinoma from insulin injection c peptide c peptide we order if c peptide is high this is insulinoma and c peptide normal this is insulin injection okay and how to differentiate sulfonylurea from sulfonylurea toxicity from insulinoma then we order serum sulfonylurea level and insulin upon sugar ratio more than 0.3 so serum sulfonylurea level if this facility is there i'll go for this and that will differentiate insulinoma from sulfonylurea overdose otherwise if this facility is not there just measure the this ratio this ratio is more than 0.3 that is insulinoma so investigation wise endoscopic ultrasound ct scan these are quite good along with insulin sugar ratio in fasting stage in fasting stage otherwise this can be insulin injection as well and uh, treatment is less than 2 cm we go for e nucleation so from the head and body less than 2 cm e nucleation more than 2 cm do vipples from the head and body vipples operation and from the head and body this is only for head and body tumor pancreatic head pancreatic body if it is from the tail then all cases we do distal pancreatectomy distal pancreatectomy all cases okay so so just repeat what we have, i'll just repeat what we have discussed a option insulin may present with ripple side that's absolutely correct b option insulin upon sugar ratio more than 0.3 is diagnostic no this is incomplete statement the word should be fasting otherwise it could be insulin injection as well it's not diagnostic in this statement so the right answer here would be only a and b is wrong so first was a and b both correct and b explains a second was a and b both correct but independently correct third is a is correct b wrong so this is the right statement here so the answer is three and hypoglycemia low blood glucose is a critical so Whipple's triad actually is venous plasma glucose less than 50 with classical symptom and relieved by sugar. That's Whipple's triad. So this is another question based on the assertion reasoning pattern of AIMS.